Let's talk about the seasonal arima model for time series analysis in this video. When you perform seasonal arima model, you need to go through four major steps as well. It's very similar to the non-seasonal arima model we did in the previous lecture. The first step is to visualize the original data set. You want to check if there is a obvious increasing or decreasing trend. This is the first step. Then you want to use the ACF and the PACF chart to identify the seasonal ARIMA model. I have talked about how to use seasonal ACF and PACF to identify the model in the previous lecture. I will list that lecture video link in this video's description section below. It's a very important scale. If you haven't studied that lecture video, please be sure to study that lecture before you proceed in this video. This is the second step, using ACF and PACF to identify the model for the time series analysis. The third one is to build the model. And then the last step is to use the model we just built to forecast the future value. So this is the overview of performing a seasonal ARIMA model. Let's talk about these steps one by one. I have listed this script in this video's description section as well. I also made some notations in the script. He can explain the purpose of the course. I will not repeat each line of course. I will just briefly talk about the purpose of each section in this script. In this data set, I collected the monthly dividend data of a stock over 50 years. I will list the source data in this video's description section. You can download the source data as well as the script onto your computer and try out by yourself. The first step is to visualize the original data set. From the plot chart, we will not see a clear increasing or decreasing trend in the data set, which means we don't have to do differencing for the non-seasonal part of the model. Because it's a large data set, we cannot see the seasonality in the data set very clearly. So why don't we do this? Let's visualize the last five years of the data set. From 2014 to 2018, let's see the seasonality of the data set more clearly. So this is what I did here. As you can see in the second plot chart, we can clearly see the seasonality. A 12 month seasonality exists in the data set. And also some seasonality is higher than others. As we learned in the previous lecture, for this type of uh, seasonality, we need to transform the seasonality into stationary data. What we will do is to subtract the previous seasonality from the current seasonality in order to transform the seasonality into stationary data. This is the differencing I did among seasonalities. After that, I'm able to draw the ACF and the PACF chart. From these two charts, I identified the, the AR1 model for the non-seasonal part and the MA1 model for the seasonal part. So according to the model I just identified, I built this analysis model, as you can see here. This is the analysis results. As you can see, the p-value for the non-seasonal analysis model and uh, the seasonal analysis model are both significant. For the overall model, the long box test is not significant, meaning that uh, we should use the model we just identified to build uh, the analysis model. The model we identified is the ARIMA 100 0, 1, 1, 12 model. This is a good model according to the analysis results. 
The last step is to use the model we just built to forecast the future values. This is the course for forecasting. If you want to forecast the next month's dividend, you just give a value 1 to the forecast function. If you want to forecast the next two months' dividends, you give value 2 to the forecast function. This is how you perform seasonal ARIMA model for time series analysis.